everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Magda and today's video I wanted to share with you how I decorated after Christmas. Now we are still in the winter months, we actually really just started winter. So I wanted to make it a little bit winter cozy. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. So I'm going to bring you guys and show you what I added into the house after I took down all the Christmas decor. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to press that like button and subscribe if you enjoy videos like this. And let's get started. Dunk. I've never seen you clearer than that. We're flying high. And I am starting off in our kitchen and I brought in this lantern and these berry branches that I got from Crate and Barrel. I think more than a year ago. They are really cute but they are very heavy so they need something a little bit more taller which this lantern definitely worked and I thought it gave a little bit of a different look. This is a vase that I bought from HomeSense. It was about $15 and I really like the shape of it. I am not planning to keep it this color but I wanted to put something to fill out this space. I will be painting it but I'm thinking to post it on Instagram to show how I actually changed this vase so if you want to see then definitely follow me on my Instagram and then for winter decor I'm actually leaving some of my pine cones because they're definitely giving me those winter feels and then I'm sticking with a little bit more neutral and a little bit colder tone. And for our table, I actually ordered a runner, but it's not going to be here until I think next week. I order one from Amazon, so I do have to wait for it. Come find me in the night. We both know when it's right. Babe, I can be. And for that transitional decor, what you want to use are definitely things that don't have too much going on, such as the vases and then some bowls and also some of these branches that don't have too much going on, so they definitely don't remind you too much of spring. the decor that I currently have. Now most of these vases I actually painted them. I grabbed them from HomeSense and I do have some videos on how I made them so I will leave the links down in the description box if you are interested to see so you can create your own pieces as well and I am so happy the way they all turned out because you can get that beautiful rustic restoration hardware pottery barn look for so much more cheaper so definitely check out these other videos that I will have in the description so you can create some beautiful pieces for your house. Here's how it looks like in the end. It's uh, very clean, very simple. And one of the things I just wanted to show you is are these pillows. If you watch my Christmas decorate with me, then I use the same ones. This is the one that's from Pottery Barn that I really love. And then these, this one is from Home Goods, same as the one in the basket. And this is the throw that I'm always debating. I really like how it feels. I found it in HomeSense. But I like more of the color of this. This during daylight looks very... It has that kind of like a reddish tone or hue to it. And it only looks like this during the day. 
and then during the evening it looks more looks more like this color and i like it more but it's actually a really nice cozy blanket so i like to keep it that way yeah those are i have a basket with toys in here then we just have our lamp this corner i put it this way because this corner really needs something um but something tall so i am looking into getting that full olive tree in here so hopefully i can order that within the next days and then that should fill the space more nicer by the tv i want to show you guys is actually this literal like desk area that we have which i keep our coffee um, machine here and then also the soda stream which we just got recently and we really like it so we use it every day so i like to keep it in here but here's how it looks like and then this beautiful poster from mapiful i will have a link down below if you haven't seen my coffee christmas coffee station decorate with me but but other than that i'm keeping it very simple i just really clean out this whole area and then i just added this vase that i already had with some full olive branches in here so it kind of adds a little bit of something what i actually want to get is that i've seen um there i've seen this like a cute little tray for my coffee mug so i can keep them in here and then it also i i feel like it will fill out the space nicer and then add a little bit something in here to not make it look right now it's just very clean and simple so i just wanted to add something to it there are definitely a couple pieces that i want to get for our house just to fill in more right now it feels a little bit more colder a little bit more minimal i do like that look but there are definitely a couple things that i want to get for the house to make it feel a little bit more cozy but like i said we do have snow outside it's winter we're gonna be in winter months for the next uh three months for sure <laughs> so this definitely works and then once spring comes i can definitely decorate for spring which is very exciting but other than that i will talk to you guys all in my next video